Uh, and I'll tell you first how it was developed. It was developed for this use case where, let's say you've scanned this, and in this case it's a scan with an arm, and after scanning, we hit the merge button, and we left the part in place, so we didn't move the part or the scanner, um, and we noticed that there was an area, a strip that we forgot to scan. So instead of having to go back, and you know, obviously you have to rescan it, that's, that, there's no magic to that, so we did. Let's say here's our scan. But because we haven't moved anything, it's already well aligned. So all we really want to do is kind of just patch that in, kind of splice it in there to the mesh. In the past, all we've had are, we've had to actually take all the polygons back to points, merge it together, create a new polygon mesh, and that could take a couple of minutes. So we thought there might be a better way to do that, which is to just kind of use that little piece of point cloud data as a little patch and just kind of sew it in there, kind of stitch that in uh, to the existing mesh. So here. You just hit apply after choosing that little patch piece, and you see that it just kind of stitches it in there. So it's kind of like hole filling, but you're telling it, instead of just being an interpolative hole fill, it's saying use this bit of point cloud or polygons to fill that hole. So a little bit better example is, uh, I'll do this next one here. So to this one, uh, a little more of a, uh, uh, use a little bit more kind of a realistic use case that we started discovering. Uh, after talking to development was, well, what about the case where you've got a similar geometry elsewhere on the part that you want to borrow and apply uh, to a, a bit of missing data? So here we had a corner that either was not scanned well or it was not scanned at all. Uh, in this case, it was not scanned well, so I just deleted it. And, but I know that I've got this corner over here, which looks a lot like it, and this is a symmetrical part, so this part should define it well enough. So what we can do is use our polyline selection tool and kind of rope it off. We can right click and say selection to object, copy and paste. Uh, then I might go and just mirror this, which I won't show. You just go to mirror model and flip it over about the uh, center line. And then maybe you want to wiggle it into place with the object mover or best fit just to kind of get it snug in there. So that once you do, you've got something similar to this. You've got this little patch piece that kind of fits over it. And just like patching some clothing, you want it to be a little bit larger. The patch should be a little larger than the hole that it's meant to fill. So here's what happens when we run this. We go uh, into the patch command, and if we just hit apply, if we don't do any, uh, any other things, you'll see that you'll get about what you expect, which is it's not going to match up perfect. And you'll see a little seam or boundary there. And this was the initial prototype for this command did just that. However, after talking with development, uh, they said, you know, one of the things we could do was actually enable some deformation and actually allow it to smooth. So here, we, you can see these little white whiskers. Uh, these things kind of represent the order of magnitude of the deviation. And if I just hit deform, you'll, it's hard to see live, but you'll see it kind of, kind of warp that patch to fit better onto the mesh, such that when I hit apply now, because those geometries match up a little bit better, I get a better result. Now, you'll see that it's really hard to tell that there wasn't actual scan data there to begin with. 